Hello and welcome. I'm here today with Dr. Hassan Ali, uh, the top plastic surgeon for the month of February and March 2016 in uh, Doctor's Choice Awards. Dr. Hassan Ali is a plastic and uh, cosmetic surgeon with offices in uh, Dubai, Karachi and Riyadh. He has vast experience working uh, at his centers located in Karachi, Dubai and Riyadh where he has performed uh, several advanced body contouring and liposuction including VESA high definition liposuction procedures, 3D and 4D body contouring procedures. Dr. Hassan Ali ha holds uh, a current license uh, to practice and perform surgeries in uh, UK, Ireland, Dubai, Saudi Arabia and Pakistan. He has a special training in body, face and breast aesthetic surgery. Dr. Ali has performed over 4,000 cosmetic surgery procedures and presents his research work on several international symposiums and meetings. Hello doctor and welcome and congratulations to you Dr. Ali on being uh, the top plastic surgeon for the month of February and March 2016. How excited are you on uh, winning this title? It's a great honor for me perhaps this is very encouraging to know that how my colleagues uh, they think of me. Um, for any doctor who received any award uh, it's, it's an immense pleasure it's a feeling of uh, a positive feeling of a, a positive and encouraging feeling for any doctor in any speciality and I'm, I, I'm really honored and I'm really happy uh, on this. You have received great reviews uh, from your peers in the industry. Uh, what was your first thought on Doctor's Choice Awards? Uh, Doctor Choice Award is a great platform for the doctors. Um, peer review, always most reliable form of reference, um, and it's a strong, it's really strong and influential, and on always beneficial uh, for the doctors. And I congratulate the team of uh, Doctor Choice Award for giving doctors such an opportunity uh, to share their thoughts, um, and this. This is not very help. This is not only helpful for a doctor image, but also useful for patients uh, in selecting a particular doctor in a particular specialty. Um, it's nowadays when there are a lot of doctors in, uh, in each specialty. Um, doctor, the people are always going online and they're reading the reviews of the doctors. Um, and it, this kind of award, this kind of platform, is really helpful for uh, for selecting a doctor. Um, by patients um, and also for the colleagues and of, of other speciality when they decide to refer to a particular doctor um, they can always uh, find out that these uh, the doctors who are top doctors or they have good reviews uh, they can always recommend these doctors to to their patients what inspired you to be a plastic surgeon um, the, the reason of uh, selecting a plastic surgery specialty was um, during my medical school and uh, when I was doing the rotation, the clinical rotation, um, I found out uh, these uh, reconstructive uh, procedures um, and especially visiting the plastic surgery department and, and seeing these post, especially the post burn reconstruction and other um, road traffic accident cases that were dealt by the uh, plastic surgeon at that time. And also the newly emerged aesthetic field, uh, which, uh, which wasn't very uh, popular at that time in my home country. And so I, 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 I wanted to opt to a speciality which was rare, where, where there was more challenge, where there is a, a integration of other specialities uh, like uh, journal surgery, urology, orthopedic surgery, but other all other specialties have um, an aesthetic portion of uh, which combines and uh, and form this plastic reconstructive and aesthetic surgery. 
and that was my main uh, reason of inspiration the other was obviously my my dad uh, always encouraged me and he asked me to uh, to uh, to 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 look into this speciality and that was one, another one very big um, reason and uh, that i uh, picked this speciality what conditions are commonly treated by you and what do you believe sets you apart from others the common conditions i treat uh, mainly i have my main practice uh, comprises of uh, body contouring surgery um, um i have been doing body contouring procedures for last 9 years um and mainly i when i, st I when i started uh, in after my finishing my residency i m was mostly dealing with the reconstruction a lot of reconstruction that i have done in the beginning of my initial post as an assistant professor in one of the universities back home and uh, then later my private practice was mainly uh, dealing with the, with the body contour especially the liposuction so i purchased a system waser which is uh, now considered as one of the gold standard in the liposuction though there are many other system also there in the market i started using waser and and this was very useful for me and i have been doing waser for last 9 or 10 years and and that is my practice at the moment mainly comprises of procedures like liposuction abdominoplasty facelift and and also other procedures which are minimal invasive procedures and that i also perform and pad grafting is one which is which i have been doing very extensively and every week i have patients for pad grafting and and also perform pad grafting to to the breast which is uh, also uh, getting very popular as a lot of patients they do not like to go for for implant augmentation for breast and that is also one of my top procedures in my practice i understand you have performed over 4000 cosmetic surgery procedures uh, what do you believe uh, defines the term uh, aesthetic as it often says uh, beauty lies in eyes of beholder so uh, it's it's not me who has to decide what patient wants and it is always i want my patient to decide uh, what they want and aesthetic is a very broad term and a beauty and beauty can be variable among the different uh, nationalities different races and different color and this is like i deal with patients of different uh, I, my main practice comprises in dubai and we have over 200 nationalities they are living here and i have been operating on different type of people with different aesthetic concepts and it's uh, it's really challenging and at the same time it's really interesting that you see people of different origin different types and and, and as i deal with the body contouring in certain part of the body where one one type of race they don't like the fat there the other person may not may like that part so it's a, you have to deal with the what patient wants so i listen to the patient i want my patient what they want and i first first i listen to them and then i decide what can be done you know and it's always the patient choice sometime as a doctor you can always say no to the patient and uh, uh, but patient always seeking an advice of a doctor so patient selection in our specialty is very very important and aesthetic or beauty uh, depends on various factors um so it's a doctor's it is aesthetic responsibility uh, to choose the correct patient and to perform the right procedure you have developed a fame with the waist liposuction procedures for body contouring and has uh, performed several complex procedures for both women and men uh, can you elaborate more about uh, these procedures and its benefits and uh, waser waser liposuction is basically it's a third generation ultrasound um it helps in uh, in uh, disrupting the fat cells and these fat cells can be removed from the body with the help of certain specified cannulas which are gentle and uh, they do not disturb and damage certain important structures like uh, vessels nerves and connective tissue and the um 
the 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 other very important thing uh, with this type of uh, a tool is to give the skin a contraction and that's why we see a lot of skin contraction after the liposuction uh, which apparently uh, is not that obvious with the traditional methods um, patient can also go on the same day it is less uh, less invasive uh, it's 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 uh, it leaves less bruising to the patient, uh, so the recovery to the recovery uh, to back to the work and uh, and 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 result wise, it's much more faster. So a patient can go back to normal routine activities right after a day or two, and then they can resume all other activities uh, within a week time. Um, there are other um, benefits of using Vaser is uh, other than liposuction that you can also combine it uh, with, with other procedures like cutting procedures like abdominoplasty, brachioplasties and even body lift procedures. Um, and the, the very important thing which is to which should I should mention here is a pad grafting. An old method of ultrasonic liposuction usually kills fat cells. And as this is an advance or a, it has a minimal amount of ultrasonic energy, it does not kill the fat cells, it does disrupt the fat cells, it doesn't emulsify actually the fat. So the fat cells is still alive. There are certain studies which are published in the, in the literature, you can see that, that the fat cells are viable and that can be used in, in a fat grafting to augment areas like uh, buttocks, breast and, uh, and, and even on the augmentation of certain areas in the face. Do you believe uh, collaboration and networking among doctors uh, through services and programs such as Doctors' Choice Awards uh, play a significant role uh, in the success of the modern medical professional? Yes, um, there, you know, the patient's pool, um, the, the patient would uh, are seen by one type of doctor, one specialty of doctor, can be correctly referred to another good quality doctor. And uh, this platform of uh, the Doctor Choice Award uh, is an excellent uh, source for patients and doctors both. Uh, as these patients can be transferred or referred correctly to the doctors who, who deals with certain specific problems. For example, if a doctor is good in nose surgery and he, and he develops a pain with those type of surgery, these doctors who are already on this platform can refer the other colleagues to certain doctors. You know. So it's very helpful and uh, I, I would say the quality of uh, work uh, is it can be increased with such type of uh, with such type of organizations and so I, I congratulate uh, the DCA for, for developing uh, such a platform. Lastly, what are your future plans, Doctor? My future plan is basically to establish a good quality patient care and a good quality patient service in plastic surgery where patient uh, can have access to a daycare surgery and a minimal invasive surgery. I'm in a process of establishing a, a such a unit which will provide a safe, effective and targeted uh, population of the patients which are, which are looking for certain super speciality of plastic surgery, the service which I provide at the moment. Uh, so that the patient, they can come from anywhere or from any part or in the country or outside the country and get the best service uh, from me and my team. And my message uh, is, is basically uh, is that, that we, we treat patients with, with, uh, with delicacy, efficiency and with respect. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor, for being with us and uh, I hope we uh, meet again and do another segment like this. Thank you very much.